Hey guys, welcome to Slash Rex Games. Today I would just like to go over sounds with you. Uh, you remember previously I did a tutorial on shooting a bullet out the tip, which is just a top down, yeah, we've got a top down effort. And our guy runs around and we shoot bullets around. But it's not very exciting because there are no sounds whatsoever. So today we're going to change that. We're going to add some background uh, ambient music and obviously a sound every time the guy shoots. So let's check out sounds for example. Here we go to sounds, we say create sound. So here we've got a few different kinds of sound. We've got normal, background, 3D and use multimedia player. Ultimately normal sound is just for any wave sound that you want to use. For example, the guy's rifle, the, the sound the rifle makes when he shoots. Um, that we would use a normal sound. And Game Maker can play many normal sounds at the same time. But only one background sound at once. So if you're using a background sound, make sure it's it's a loop or it's quite long because uh, you can't play two at once. So for the rifle dot wave, it will use a normal sound. And here you can fill with some effects. Um, oh, they just do what they say here. If you want to do that, you can fill with that. And then you've got your sound in your pan left and right. We want it to be loaded first before the game starts. So let's put the volume... I don't know, around there. Um, if you have an external editor, you can connect it to the edit sound button and then it'll take you to your external editor if you want to edit the sound, for example. So let's check out what the sound sounds like. Okay, so it's just a rifle rifle shot. So we're going to call this uh, sound rifle. So it's normal, it's all good. Now, we're going to want a ambient sound to play in the background, to put us in the mood. So we're going to say uh, sound background. Uh, I've got distant gunfire that I made earlier. It's just a, like a, a background war scene. There's distant gunshots going off and, and stuff like that. So it's also a wave. Um, it's also a wave file. I suggest you use wave files. You can use MP3s as background music, I found out. Even though it suggests that you do not, you can do that. So. Try that out first, um, and then if that doesn't work, just convert it to a wave with, I don't know, Audacity or something like that, and then there you go. So this is going to be some background. It's going to be a background music, so it's only going to be playing uh, one background sound. So you change the little icon there to different things. There's a little sound file. There's a little note for uh, music, a set of music. And volume, uh, let's put that up there so we can hear it. No effects. Uh, I don't need edits. all good. And we go OK. All right, now we need to add it to our game. Because it's a background sound, you can either create an object called Object Sound over here and then put that in your room to play the sound. Or you can just go to Settings of your room and go to Creation Code. Okay, now we need to look at some of the sound functions. So we're going to open up F1, we're going to go to Search, we're going to type in Sound, go to Basic Sound Functions. We're going to go over some of these. Uh, so, for example, uh, there are five basic functions, blah, 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 blah. Sound play. This is very simple. You just uh, type in sound play and the name of the sound. It just plays the sound. It could be any sound, background, normal, whatever. Sound loop. If you want that sound to play again once it's finished, so you want it to loop forever or until you tell it to stop looping, uh, just the same sound loop and the name of the sound. Sound stop. You can stop a specific sound. Sound stop all stops all sounds playing. Here's a pretty cool thing. Uh, to test if a certain sound is playing, you can use sound is playing and then the name of the song. And returns true or false. And you can do things with that here. You have volume. You can change the volume um, of the sound name and the value. There we go. Naught is low. One is high. The global volume is the volume of all the sounds. So that's like global game volume. You can make certain sounds fade. Uh, sound pan, you can change uh, left or right pan. And you can change the tempo of the background music if it is a MIDI file. Yeah, MIDI files only. Okay. So let's exit that. Let's go back to here. Now, if we say uh, sound play and the name of the sound, which was sound background, what it's going to do is it's going to play the background. Let's, let's check what that does. Let's have a look here. See if there's any problems with this. Seems to be playing fine. The problem is that with sound play, in the creation event, it's fine. 
just as sound play. But if you had to put it into a step function, for example, so let's take that, let's cut it, and say you had an object um, sound, and you wanted it to play the sound of the background, and for example, say you put it in the step thing with a very, a very poorly uh, coded uh, Boolean variable to check if it's playing or whatever. Then what the problem is there is it'll keep playing the sound and it'll repeat. See that? It's playing a sound every step, which you don't want. We, don't, we want it to only play if it's not already playing. So in the room, you can just say um, sound play or sound loop would also be good. That's probably better. And you can put it in there because this is a create event, right? So it'll only do it once. So it's creation code. But if you had to put it into a step event, for example, say we put it into object player. So let's remove this. Say object player was our sound. Okay, let's do step. Let's take that away. You now for this, let's just make an object called object sound. Okay. Need to know sprite. Anyway, events. So when it starts, you can just say you can say sound play. Right? And then the name of the sound. There we go. And then you can also check at the step if it's playing, um, then you just want it to carry on playing again. So if and then you say a sound is playing, right, and the name of the sound which is sound background. Okay, do this. So if the sound is playing, you can do something. So we wanted to um, check if it's not playing. So sound is not playing, so there's the not, sound is playing. Then we wanted to play a sound. And a sound background. So now, It'll only play the sound if uh, if it's not already. Whoops, sound play. If it's not already playing, so it's very good uh, for other sounds. For background, you could just put it in create and let it play, or, or sound loop would probably be better. Just say sound loop, and then you wouldn't have to check it again because it would always be playing, so you won't need that. So now, if we check. Uh, Okay, there's nothing there, it's all good. And we're room one, we're gonna put our sound over there and we push play. It should just see we've got our background sound going. And then it'll just keep looping forever. So we want it to sound more distant, so you can just put the sound down, volume down on that to about half, okay. And it'll be distance, okay. Now for example we've got our rifle sound, which is just a normal a normal sound so it can play as many of these as we want so we want one of those to play every time the user fires so we got object player we got our global left button which uh, which the user clicks and then it says well it's firing now so here we say um, yeah it does a few checks as before in the other tutorials so here we say uh, sound play we only wanted to play it once per click so sound play sound rifle okay so it'll play it every time the user clicks. So check this out. So you can play multiple sounds of of type normal at once. Now we can test out the the is playing here pretty quickly. For example, if we had to put here um, the if sound is playing. All right, and we had to put the sound rifle. So, for example, say we didn't want it to play again. We want to wait for the other sound to stop playing before it starts playing a new version of itself. So there we go. If sound is not playing, so then sound play. Okay. So now, if we shoot now, there won't be as many gunfire shots going on. Oh, whoops, whoops, we can't put that at the end of an, of an if statement. Okay, let's carry on. You see, even though I'm clicking, it's not going to play 
the sound until it's finished playing. But that's not exactly what we want for this case, but it just shows how is playing works. Uh, so let's take that out there. Yeah, so um, that's pretty much it when it comes to sounds. So for normal sounds, uh, just use waves and just click normal, check your volume, and then just use sound play, sound loop uh, to either play or loop your, your sound, depending on what it, what it is you want playing. Your background audio, this one I suggest you use sound loop with, and then you only have to call it once, and it'll just keep looping forever. Um, that's obviously background. You can use an MP3. I have tried, and it does work with .mp3s. Um, but for this example, we just have a dot wave. If it doesn't work with uh, MP3s for you, just you know, like I said, change it to a wave sound, and then it'll be fine. And then again, you've got uh, your is playing function. You can use that to check if the sound is playing already, so that you don't play another copy on top of it. Yes, Thanks for watching.